body use wheel technology for walking? The short answer is yes. But to understand this, let's talk about walking strategies. Most people walk with a regular walking strategy, which is simply falling forward while preventing the fall with the extended leg. Then the body is pulled forward until the next falling position is reached for the other leg. This regular walking strategy is simple, intuitive, functional, effective and also forgiving. It is used by nearly everyone all the time. However, it is well known that this walking strategy suffers from several biomechanical disadvantages. Firstly, during heel strike, the entire mass of the moving body suddenly impacts the overreached leg exactly when the heel, knee and lower back are at their most vulnerable position. Also, at the moment of heel strike, the outraged leg mechanically breaks the forward movement while the body is spending energy on moving forward. This causes a net energy loss. The heel strike impact also causes the walking quality to be unsmooth and bumpy. And finally, this walking strategy does not require the regular use of movement components like full range of ankle joints and full length calf muscle power. After decades of non-use and neglect, these elements might no longer be available for regular function, subsequently furthering the overall disability. When the body transforms to harmonious walking on a regular basis, it uses wheel technology to propel the body forward effectively and without any of these drawbacks. To understand this concept, in this video we will discuss the physical mechanics of the wheel and how the body uses similar mechanics to walk harmoniously. According to the Oxford Dictionary, a wheel is a circular object that revolves on an axle and is fixed below a vehicle or a load to move it easily above the ground. It is therefore imperative that the shape of the wheel remains round and that the hinge is at its perfect center throughout the movement. Otherwise, the ride will be bumpy and hyper energy consuming. Additionally, if an imperfect wheel is used regularly, the system will eventually break down. So we can conclude that the wheel movement strategy is energy effective and also provides a smooth and comfortable ride. To understand how the body uses wheel technology for walking, let's dive in a bit deeper into wheel mechanics. From a mechanical point of view, it is possible to use two half wheels to the same effect as one whole wheel. This concept is correct provided both half wheels move together and bear the load in an alternative manner. So when one half wheel touches the floor, the other is in the air and vice versa. Provided that both half wheels are equal in shape, and the transition between them is timed perfectly, then both half wheels from a mechanical perspective behave like one whole wheel. For this reason, the rider of this wheel bicycle should not feel a difference between two half wheels and one whole wheel. The mathematical formula to remember in this case is two times half equals one. We are discussing this weird bicycle because the body applies the same mechanical principle for harmonious walking. The major difference is that human half wheels are positioned side by side to each other rather than one, of, one in front of each other. As I will explain further on in this video, the side by side orientation of both half wheels provides major advantages for power and efficiency. The stability muscles of the pelvic region ensure that the axis remains at the center of the human wheel and at a constant distance from the surface. Without this, the mechanical structure of a wheel is not held, and therefore using wheel technology for harmonious walking is not possible. You can see that by applying wheel technology, harmonious walking provides a segue effect and feel to the right. The upright body is propelled forward steadily, smoothly and with adequate power. When walking harmoniously, 
There are no bumps or breaks to impede the holistic movement. Now comes the question, how is this human walking wheel powered? Each half wheel has its own engine, mainly the calf muscles. And on top of that, there is a central engine in the pelvic area. So, when walking harmoniously, the body uses three engines to power one wheel. It is fascinating to see how the body uses these three engines together in harmony to significantly reduce the energy cost of walking. Firstly, each separate half wheel engine works in bursts of energy at the most efficient time in for that half wheel. Furthermore, during harmonious walking, each half wheel mechanically loads the other half wheel just before it fires and vice versa. And finally, the third central engine provides a force multiplier to both half wheels via the long lever of the legs. Imagine the difference of the movement energy between passively rolling down a hill on rollerblades compared to the additional energy when also moving the legs in sync with the movement. That is a serious force multiplier that can create huge speeds with minimal energy expense. So we can see here how nature engineering is so clever. Compare this sophisticated tri-engine system for one wheel to a modern electric bicycle that has one engine for two wheels. And that engine just pushes and pushes without any power regeneration or force multiplications that we can see on the hu human system of power in the wheel. We have to call it what it is. Thank you all for watching this video. If you want to feel this fascinating human segue effect for yourself, learn how to train the whole body for this adjustment. Learn how to physically transform to harmonious walking and learn how to maintain this walking strategy until it becomes automatic. Check out below the six hour online seminar, Training for Harmonious Walking. See you there.